You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here, and once again I decided to do another anime review on Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F for today's anime review. It's been a while since I did my previous anime review on Lupin the Third Part 1 anime series, Green Jacket series. So, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F is the second film personally supervised by the series creator Akira Toriyama following Battle of the Gods in 2013, like the previous film is considered an official part of the Dragon Ball storyline. The, the film... The movie depicts the return of the villain Frieza, as well as God of Destruction Beerus and Whis from Battle of Gods as well, which you see them in Dragon Ball Super, especially the second story arc as well, which subplots and episodes set before the events of the film to cover the 13-episode arc. The remains of Frieza's army led by an alien named Sorbet head to Earth where they convince Pilaf, Mai, and Shu who have collected the Dragon Balls to summon the wish-granting dragon Shenron. Sorbet makes a wish to revive Frieza, but Shenron only can bring him back to life in the form of pieces, the pieces that future Trunks cut up, which Sorbet's minions resemble using their advanced technology over the following two months. Once restored, Frieza plans revenge against the Super Saiyans, but upon learning that Goku has gotten stronger to the point after of defeating Majin Buu and fighting Beerus, the god of destruction, to a stalemate, as Majin Buu and Beerus were the only two beings in the universe, Frieza was warned by his father never to cross. He postpones the invasions oh, so he can train himself for the first time in his life. Jocko, the Galactic Patrolman, travels to Earth to warn Bulma that Frieza is approaching and she gathers five of the Z Fighters with Goku and Vegeta training with Whis on the planet uh, that houses Beerus. Unaware that Frieza has been revived, Gohan, Piccolo, Krillin, Master Roshi, Tien, Shinhan, and Jocko fight off Frieza's soldiers. However, the Z, the five Z warriors, are unable to beat Frieza even with Gohan as a Super Saiyan. Bulma is finally able to w reach Wee's. Goku and Vegeta return to Earth to face Frieza, Whis, if I'm pronounce whatever you want to pronounce his name, and Beerus join them in order to eat a strawberry sundae. Bulma has prepared for them, neither caring about the outcome of the battle. Despite powering up to the final form, Frieza is unable to defeat Goku, but the latter deduces that he is holding back. The two then ag agree to fight at full power with Goku transforming into a new form with a glowing blue aurora called Super Saiyan Blue, as in Super Saiyan Godu Super Saiyan, and Frieza evolving into a his new gold plated, plated form, Golden Frieza, or Goruden Frieza, as you want to pronounce it in Japanese. Although Frieza is finally able to gain the upper hand, Goku and Vegeta soon realize that Frieza's golden form drains his powers quickly due to his lack of mastery. Goku eventually turns the tables, beating Frieza down. He gives him the chance to leave, and but is shot in the chest by Sorbet's ray gun. When he lowers his guard, Frieza stands over in the incapitated Goku and offers Vegeta a chance to kill Goku and to command his future army. But Vegeta refuses, transforming into his own Super Saiyan blue form. When Krillin attempts to revive Goku with a Senzu bean, Frieza attacks him. But Vegeta deflects the shot, which, is kill, which kills Sorbet. Vegeta ends up battering Frieza, knocking him out of his golden form, humiliated and angered. 
Frieza shoots a blast into Earth, destroying it, and Vegeta, Goku, Whis, whatever you want to pronounce his name, if you, if I can pronounce it right or wrong, Beerus and the Z Fighters are left on a small piece of rock in space where they lament the loss of the planet. Goku regrets not killing Frieza when he had the chance. Whis remarks he can turn back to I'm up to three minutes, and after doing so, Goku destroys Frieza with, Kam with a Kamehameha, much to Vegeta's anger. In the aftermath, as the characters say their goodbyes to Beerus and Whis, Goku and Vegeta discuss the assertion by Whis that if the two of them were to team up, Opponents like Frieza would not have a chance to knock them out. Vegeta, however, on the other hand, replies, he would rather die than go through that again. Goku agrees and laughs as Vegeta smiles and remarks that, that, that it, it is time about time that they finally agree on something. And also, even in the post credit scene, Frieza returns to hell and to his dismay is welcomed back. Huh... The film was originally announced in July 2014 under the tentative title of Dragon Ball Z 2015. In the September 2014 issue of V-Jump magazine, the image of Son Goku in Super Saiyan form using the Shunkan Edo technique confirmed Akira Toriyama's credits for the original concept, screenplay, and character designs, and has mentioned that the film would be a continuation of his original manga. The author stated that the film would also be a sequel to Battle of Gods, that he strictly continuized all the dialogue and promised more action scenes, a flyer of the same image with a backside showing Shenlong handed out the, at the Jump Victory Carnival event on July 19th revealed that Dragon Ball Z animation supervisor Tadayoshi Yamamuro is directing the new film. Later that month, a short teaser trailer was released of Shenlong bringing someone back to life with a text calling this the worst wish in history, followed by Goku transforming into a Super Saiyan. The, in November 2014, the film's Japanese title of Dragon Ball Z Fukatsu no F and basic plot outline were unveiled in the January 2015 issue of E-Jump magazine. A promotional image released the film depicts Frieza, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Son Goku, Ohan, Krillin, as well as the god destruction Beerus and Whis from the previous film Battle of Gods. Which are, they're also in Dragon Ball Super. Also featured in the image were two new characters that are servants of Frieza, Sorbet, and Tagoma. Producer Norihiro Hayashida said that although Toriyama came up with the story for Battle of Gods script, it was actually written by someone else. Therefore, Resurrection F, however... Marks the first time that the original creator wrote a screenplay for the series. He revealed that Toriyama had the idea of bringing Frieza back. While attending a concert by the metal band called Maximum the Hormone, however, it came to him while at watching them perform their 2008 song F, which is about the fictional character Hayashida, also admitted that the the team gave the film a fast pace by focusing on the fight scenes, however, for the American audience, which may have caused some shortcomings on the dramatic level. On December 5, 2014, the first full trailer for the film was aired on Fuji TV's morning show, Mazamashi TV. The following day, a slightly different trailer and a special audio message from Frieza, voiced in Japanese by a Japanese voice actor Ryusei Nakao, were added to the film's official website, as well as some of the cast and crew people who order advanced tickets for receive an earphone jack stamp strap of either Goku or Frieza, designed by Kira Toriyama, who was the creator of. Or himself. 
Memorial Clover Z appeared with Masako Noazawa, who's known for a Galaxy Express 3.9 Dragon Ball Z series, Maicha in Machiko Sensei anime, at a press conference in Tokyo on February 3, 2015, where it was announced that all five members will have the roles in the movie as Angels from Hell, costumed mascots of Son Goku and Frieza, were also present at the event, which also was held at the set Subun, and accordingly, beans were thrown at Frieza in the Maki tradition. On March the 2nd, 2015, a full, second full trailer was released Resur for Resurrection F, revealing Frieza's new form, covering his skin in both gold and dark shades of purple. Other details, including the trailer, were a defeated Gohan and Goku, Frieza's henchmen fighting against Piccolo, Taiyan, Shinan, Master Roshi, and Krillin. It also features Jocko from Kira Toriyama's 2013 manga series Jocko the Galactic Patrolman, which is set before Dragon Ball, however. A trailer featuring the series Heroes Fighting Frieza and his 1,000-man army was released on March 24th by Manichi Shimbun. In April 2015, the 20th issue of Weekly Shonen Jump revealed Goku's new form of the Super Saiyan God transformation he acquired in Battle of Gods. Toei released a short advertisement depicting Goku and Frieza fighting in their new forms days before the magazine's official release as well. In December 2014, Toho Cinemas collaborated with Resurrection F for a television commercial promoting their s in a melange card, and it Frieza explains how the card program works, and Goku's yelling of Frieza's name appears as a pun on the word free. A three-chapter manga adaptation for the film was drawn by Toyo Taro, began in the April 2015 issue of V-Jump magazine as well, forgot to mention. In March 2015, a collaboration between Toei Animation and Kirin Company spawned two dance parody commercials tying Resurrection F with, Krillin, with Kirin's Mets Cola beverage with the grape flavor at advertising featuring Frieza and his henchmen and the orange flavor ad featuring Goku and the other heroes as well. Yeah. And also for the movie Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, however... It opened at number one at the Japanese box office, earning approximately $8.1 million, with 716,000 tickets sold. In its first few days, it made 40.3% more, and it sold 27.4% more tickets than Battle of Gods did its opening weekend as well. Because Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F gro grossed a fine total of... 8.4 million dollars in the United States and Canada and other territories. The film grossed an estimated 3.7 million dollars by January 1st, 2016. As of March 10th, 2016, the film has grossed 7.7 billion yen worldwide, including over 3.7 billion yen in Japan and 44.0 billion yen outside of Japan as well. Yep, especially. And also the distribution for and the movie Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F was distributed by Toei Animation with the production company, but it was distributed by Toei Company and 20th Century Fox, which is the first Dragon Ball Z movie being distributed by Toei Company and, and 20th Century Fox. That's why. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F for today. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts about this. Because I, this is my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie, because I know this takes place in the events before Dragon Ball Super Series, I guess. And I have it on DVD with me in my anime collection, I guess. Help subscribe for content, my anime plan, link in the description down below, share this video on our Twitter, Facebook, if you have a Twitter, Facebook account, and all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RoniK95. Especially if you're new to my channel, keep it otaku for my anime review on Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, because I'm running out of time, that's why. And I've got one more thing for the next anime review coming up, right here. Stay tuned for my next anime review is... Oh, oh forgot... Shit, I forgot the wrong... That's the wrong one. Next anime review, Cirrus Celestial Legend.
Stay tuned for my next anime review on Sarah Celestial Legend, and you because you won't want to miss it.